What's going on guys? So I'm gonna take you into this warehouse here. We're gonna change a pilot assembly on a unit heater that's been given issues, okay? In this building here, we got about 40% of the issues are caused by soap that's in the air in the environment. It attaches itself to the flame sensor, causes this little white coating on top of it. Now, I cleaned the flame sensor, but there's something fishy going on, and there is gas flow leaving the gas valve right now, but I think the orifice inside that little um, pilot assembly is clogged or it's restricted and it's not got the proper flow to light that pilot. We're gonna go inside right now and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Let's get this done. This video is brought to you by Harago.com, a trades only platform helping you find the right job or the right candidate. Harago.com best in trade. The pilot assembly comes with everything we need. We have the tubing, we have the flame sensor, we have a bracket here. It's got a clip inside and it's got some, some little bolts so we can fasten this all in. I'm going to show you what this machine was doing before I put this in. Okay, we got the terminals jumped out. We're waiting for the inducer motor to start up there. Once it does, we'll show you what happens here. Now we do, we do get a spark. Now, I don't know if you can hear that, but we get a spark there. And it's a strong spark because I've checked with my mirror, but we don't get any ignition of the pilot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to double check the pressure at the pilot tubing at the outlet of the gas valve right here. Okay, so we're all connected up to the pilot outlet, okay, and we are getting a reading here, 6.12 inches of water column. So we are getting gas flow. So let's put the new pilot assembly in and see what happens. So we've taken the burner right out of this Modine unit heater. Here it is here. It's a lot easier to work on this way. We have the whole pilot assembly exposed so we can get to it. The burner just sits on these little, these little pins here. And then we have some pins that push in. There's the hole there that push in. And I'll show you the pin. push in like that to hold it in place. So we got the burner out and we'll get this pilot assembly changed and go from there. Something to be extremely cautious of, this kit comes with two orifices, okay? This is the Robert Shaw kit we have, so it comes with these two orifices. Now, the one for natural gas is already installed. The other one I have in my hand is for propane and there's markings on the top of it. You gotta look at the markings on the top I know it's not focusing in well, but there's the markings right there. You gotta look at those to make sure that you have the right orifice in for the right gas application. So the new pilot assembly's in, it's all bolted down. It's got a, a nut here and a clip down here. Okay, and just so you guys are aware, this is the sparker and the flame sensor in one. So it does create a spark and it does sense flame. So it's one piece and not two. We are all installed here, and one thing that I will say is I do like this sweeping U-shape for the pilot tubing. This stuff is soft, it's aluminum, it can kink easy, it can break easy. Cutting it too short and trying to 90 it right in, you could break it. So this sweeping U, it doesn't look the best, but for functionality purposes, it's the best way to go, in my opinion. Everything's wire tied, zip tied, whatever you want to call it, so we're ready to test this thing out. Okay, there goes our motor. There's our spark, there's our flame right away. That was instantaneous. There goes our main flame. And then next should be our prop fan. There we go. So we're up and running. Let's take some combustion analysis of this unit. So before we get started with the analysis, let's go through the kit. The Testo 300 is a touchscreen combustion analyzer. Okay, it's Android based and it uses Wi-Fi to connect up. Once you're connected up to Wi-Fi, you can actually watch YouTube videos, send emails, whatever you want to do. Basically, it's like an Android tablet. You get the printer, okay, and you get the probe that goes into the stack 
to take your readings. We have some accessories like extra paper and some extra filters here, okay? It charges up by using a micro USB. My charger is not on me right now. It's down in my truck, but we're fully charged here, so I don't need it at the moment. But you do get the charger with the kit, and like I said, it is a micro USB charger. Okay, so the instrument will go through a zeroing. Once it's done, what I need you to do is hook up your probe to the bottom, leave the cap on the top like this, okay? We're gonna do a gas path check. Now that's gonna make sure the entire instrument through the, the tubing is tight, okay? So what we gotta do here is go into the menu, choose gas path check. Now automatically, it will go into a test and verify that the unit itself is tight. It takes a few seconds. So now it's done its test, instrument is gas tight. So now we're ready to perform a combustion analysis. The probe has been inserted into the venting. This cone shaped piece here is threaded so we can turn this knob and get a nice tight fit in there. The Tesla 300 is ready to go. It's got some really strong magnets on the back so it can mount to the side of a machine, no problem. So we are checking natural gas today. So if you wanna change the fuel, you just hit that drop down arrow. We can change that fuel. And also we can set up sort of a profile for this reading by putting in the customer's address right here. So let's take a reading and see what happens and how this machine runs. So we are up and running. We have our gas pressure here, we're checking it out. At around 3.5, it's fluctuating up and down just a little bit. But we are supposed to be at 3.5, according to the nameplate. We are checking our combustion analysis right here. These are our readings. So what I wanna do is I wanna reach out to the manufacturer. I wanna get an indication from them what our readings should be on a brand new unit and compare these readings to what we're seeing now. So. We can change the screen. We can go into graphs here and we can get a graph view of everything. And one cool feature I like is the hotspot feature. The hotspot feature allows us to find the hottest spot of the stack by moving around the probe right there and we can get the hottest spot, but it also tracks that for us with the max stack temp and the current stack temp. So we can see the max that we, we got out of this machine during the entire test. So the next thing I want to show you is how to print off a slip. Now we just make sure the printer is on, the green light's on, there's the on button right there. So we come over to the combustion analysis tool, we hit the pause button, and I've been playing with this so the readings have changed a bit. We hit the pause button, we hit the up arrow, and then we hit print values. Okay, so if the printer is on, we should start getting a printout generating, as the message states on the combustion analysis tool. So there is our printout. So that's how you use the printer. Okay, so just quickly guys, if you want to perform a different test other than a flue gas analysis test, we hit this little flame up here and the list of tests appear right there, okay? And we can go into this menu tab and we can see a bunch more stuff here. Device settings, we can go in and we can look for Wi-Fi connections. So we hit that. So we have a bunch of Wi-Fi connections right here we can choose from. If we have the password, we can dive right in, and this becomes a tablet. Pretty cool stuff, guys. Enjoy. Testo 300, pilot assembly changeout, got this thing working, happy HVACing.